Either Rollos. So check this out. Here I've got some items we've made in the past. This is a copper piston, this is a um, stock piston, and uh, here are a couple of rings. They are meant for something totally unrelated. It's the material that matters. This, my friends, is polyurethane, which is anything but soft. It's actually very hard. And, well, polyurethane-y, let's just say. And so we've tried a bunch of stuff, that's why I've laid all of this out. I found the copper one, but not the rest for some reason. Anyway, so we have some pistons, which we'll be able to use to make a mold that we can use to cast a piston. So let's do just that, fit them to an engine and uh, try starting it. We might want to work out what sort of polyurethane this is, but we'll figure it out as we go, I reckon. Let's do this. We make polyurethane pistons. Will the engine start? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check this out, guys. We've made a mold based on this lovely piston inside this here pipe. We were able to extract the piston, and here we have the mold. It is made from silicone, and now the objective is to slap everything back together. And here we have some polyurethane. It's 80 grade, and we're told that it's very hard. I guess we'll see once the casting begins. But we're ready, so now let's mix the material and all that. Vacuum treatment is a must to remove any air. Then we pour it in and uh, wait for a day. Hopefully we get this right the first time around. Anyway, let's get right to it. Oh, it looks like condensed milk. And so we've cast the pistons, guys. Or no, actually, there's a fifth one somewhere. There it is. Out of curiosity, we tore it apart and glued it together, but it's done. And honestly, these are quite durable. And so here we have the four soft pistons. They're almost fluid even, right? I mean, they were liquid, but then they cured. And now they're soft. I mean to say, I am able to squish them where they're thinner, but if I were to try to push down on the crown, yeah, it does give in, but ever so slightly. You gotta be pushing down really hard. And so I think our endeavor is bound to be a success. We'll see if I'm right once we get the engine assembled. And start it if we're even able to. Okay, let's not be pessimistic here, because these materials, they never cease to amaze. Okay, we got four pistons, an engine block, and now we gotta get some rings. About that, I should mention that we're gonna be fitting steel rings. So we're going OEM instead of rubber. The reason for that being, we got a soft piston, add a soft ring on top of that, and I think we won't be able to make this work. So let's run steel rings and attempt to fire up the engine on those. Okay, assemble, attempt to start. Let's go!
We are looking good here, guys. The soft pistons are inside the engine. It all came together nicely. We got everything positioned properly and... Uh, do we have fuel in the carburetor? Yes, we do. I forgot to ask you, as per usual, you want to spray? No. <laughs> no, that was just sort of, you know, like... And we're ready, the engine is assembled. We'll refrain from using any sprays. So let's try starting it on gasoline alone. I am super curious whether polyurethane is durable enough to create enough pressure for the mixture to combust. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. I wasn't asking you. Anyway, enough talk, let's try starting this thing. Let her rip. It's turning over, that's nice. The pop. Not from the muffler, but you need to set the timing depending on the pop. That's a surefire method. And uh, for the viewers, it's not the one from the muffler. What does the pop from the muffler mean? Late ignition. That's late ignition. No, that way. In every direction. Anyway, let's try again. There's obviously compression, you can tell by the sound. It's there. Why are you holding back? told you you're holding back. I mean, this hasn't been started yet and you literally need to flood it with fuel. But the fun part is... It started. Oh my, that is a nasty smell. Suspicious and poisonous. Okay, so we were able to get it to start. It even ran for a bit, but something tells me... Let's slightly adjust the distributor. But which way do we... The other way. So, slight adjustment and let's try starting it again. Shall we? that poisonous smell. You know, I don't enjoy the smell of this sort of poly. Should have worn a gas mask. Or opened the gate. That sound tells us that there might not be any more compression. What, so it started once and that's it? Let's spray something into the cylinders. Here goes nothing. I think we're done. Over so fast. It's done. Didn't take long. But then wooden pistons also didn't tend to last more than three seconds. But hey, at least the engine ran for a bit. And so here's the situation, guys. It ran. And after we shut it off, we thought it'd start a second time. 
But that's not how this played out, unfortunately. Though it was running pretty well the first time around, it lasted... How much? Did anybody time it? Five seconds? Seven. And a half. It wouldn't have even made it to the gate. But let's remove the cylinder head and uh, have a look at the pistons. I mean, you see what's going on. Can you switch that on? It's turning seemingly without meeting any resistance. Like at all. Yeah, I see what's coming out of the breather. Because we're done, yeah. Okay. No use torturing the engine or the starter motor. So let's remove the head and see what condition the pistons are in. Let's go. And now the moment of truth. You can remove it. And what do we see? They're slightly grilled, though I wouldn't say, yo. Oh, this one's got a hole in it. Right, so all of them are slightly charred uh, closer to the exhaust side. On the cylinder walls you have... That would seem to be... Burnt poly. There it is. Looks like there's a hole in number one. A nice round hole. But with these it's just the sides. Yeah, burned right through. Pretty neat, look at that. Bypassing all of the rings. As for what that tells us, this spot right here is where each and every cylinder is getting the hottest. Cool stuff. Let's pull them out and have a look. So look here. We've dismantled the engine. Let's pull out number one. I'm pretty sure you can see it right through the rings how this is burned right through. As soon as the piston began to burn, the temperature here was particularly high. Which is why they're all burned in approximately the same area. And so the hole goes all the way to the pin. So that's the situation with cylinder one. As for the rings. Perhaps not freely, but they are moving. Which is good. Okay, so that's cylinder one. And now cylinder two. What do we see? Burned all the way through. All the way to the oil ring. The rings themselves move, that's good. But there wouldn't have been any compression in this one. Because there are no ring lands left intact. So that was cylinder two. Time to pull out three. And immediately I know where to look. Right here. Same story. The lands are toast. It's all burned. All of the rings are moving. And the hole has also bypassed the piston rings bringing the compression down to nothing. That was three, let's grab number four, though it'll probably be the same. Number four, yep. Same exact story. Now they're moving. At first I thought they seized. But they are moving. As you can see, it's all the same. Same spot as on cylinder one. It started to burn, and there we have the hole punching all the way through. Going all the way through to the piston pin. Which would have caused loss of all compression. So yeah, it's pretty much the same situation in all four cylinders. Burned through and no more compression. 
So this was an interesting experiment. We had pretty high hopes for polyurethane. Polyurethane is best used for suspension bushings, I guess. But such an application for polyurethane as pistons, well, they left a bit to be desired. But at the end of the day the engine did start, it even ran fairly decently. But it didn't run for very long. Now there really aren't too many materials out there that can withstand such extreme temperatures. But I think I know a few materials that might. Send in your suggestions, I'm sure you're also aware of such materials. And so there you have it, soft pistons worked, but they didn't last long. Oh well. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. That's it for this video, catch you guys later.